Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Cloud Ops Junction. So in this today's video, we are going to learn how we can create a Ratch, an additional network interface that is called as NIC to a Azure Virtual Machine. But first, we need to understand uh, why we need multiple uh, NICs or there is why there is a need of adding additional NIC to a virtual machine. The first point that's come is security and isolations. So if you want to separate your front end and back end in your traffic, then you can definitely have uh, additional network, additional uh, NIC configured. Uh, traffic segregation, uh, in case you want to optimize performance and avoid uh, congestions, you can definitely have uh, additional NIC and you can divide your traffic that half of the traffic would uh, go from one NIC, another traffic another half traffic would go from the second NIC. Now there are multiple network connectivity also. Uh, another example, suppose you want to connect your virtual machines to world multiple VNet, then you can try that. If you don't have direct uh, connectivity, then definitely you can do it. If you don't have pairing with uh, your VNets, then you can definitely have that. Let's take an example. Uh, imagine that you are running a web application uh, with the front end called, uh, usually we run web server. And in the back end, you run uh, database server. Now, without an additional NIC, your web and uh, database traffic share the same network and increase the security risk, right? Now, with the additional NIC, the front end exposed to the user while the back end remains to the private. So definitely a security can be improved. And uh, to do that, to do a practical, what we have, I have already configured a VM. And uh, if I go to the networking section, here it is, you will find there is a one NIC adapter attached to it and the IP address is private IP address is 10.1.0.4 all right now if I connect to the virtual machine and if I open run command and type ncpa.cpl you will find only one adapter is there network adapter and the IP again start for 10.1.0.4 now let's try to uh, attach the network adapter to the this virtual machine. Now before attaching the adapter to the virtual machine, there is one or two uh, prerequisite that you should understand before doing that. The first is the virtual machine uh, should be stop state before attaching a NIC or before creating a NIC. Second is the additional NIC must be into the same region as the VM is. In my uh, can in my scenario, I have a virtual machine deployed on East US two, so the additional NIC should be onto the same region like East US two. If you create it on East US or Central US or in some other region, you won't be able to attach it. So these are the two major. Uh, prerequisite yes there is one more if a vm is in availability set or a scale set next must be configured before deployment so after creating the uh, deployment you can't create it it should be created before doing the uh, deployment okay let's stop this virtual machine now let me go to the networking section and if i if you click on networking section and click on attach networking interface, you will find it will not allow you to create or attach anything. The operation cannot be performed on a running virtual machine. That means you can create, you can, you have to stop your virtual machine. Now, what you can do, you can create a NIC separately and you can create a NIC from, from here also, uh, also. So if I stop this virtual machine, I'm stopping it and meanwhile type network interface from here as well you can create a NIC so our machine is VM Pro so what I will do I will copy this name I will create a virtual uh, network from here only 
resource group I will choose the VM Pro only name I will get as 2 or hyphen Munich anything you want anything you can give it East US 2 and it was on VM Pro only the virtual machine is stopped meanwhile IPv4 do you want to use dynamic or static IP let's use a dynamic IP if you use static IP you can actually give 10.1.0. suppose 7 10 or anything let's itself keep it so we have 10.1.0.4 so most probably it will be 10.1.0.5 let's review and create it's initializing the deployment while it is initializing let's take another example or another use case like a hybrid cloud connectivity suppose your company need a VM that connects to both on-prem resources as well as your cloud resources now uh, without uh, additional like you need a complex VNet pairing VPN configurations and and you know express route and other so many things right you need with an additional NIC if you have attached the additional NIC you have a NIC connectivity with your on-prem VPN while the other NIC uh, access the or Azure resources so without having peering or configuring the VPN you can actually can do it with adding an additional VNet so that's what that is also can be a used case but usually this, this is not done in uh, in production environment but yeah you can test it if you want to do it now our NIC is created let's go back to the virtual machine and if I go over here VNet settings if I click on attach network it should give you the option okay somehow it is not giving maybe we need to refresh it once again let's refresh the create attached sorry and it's not giving the option let me do one thing let me open the resource group and check what is this issue if I open the resource group where is my Nick oh, this is the Nick let me check if it is we have created it correctly all right you can see it has a different IP address because we might have selected a wrong VNet all right that's the reason it is not coming uh, we are not able to attach it let's do one thing let's create it's a good uh, exercise we can do it we can create it from here as well it has already selected the things now we will use vnet 2 let's put it 2 default range we will do it basic basic nothing dynamic private okay let's create it it will take some time and uh, after that we have to start the machine and verify whether we can whether we can see the additional NIC attached to our virtual machine or not all right the NIC is created awesome if I refresh this page now let's go back to the virtual machine and see if we can now what we need to do we need to start the virtual machine let's start the virtual machine we need to grab the IP address and this is the public IP address now you can see the IP address is 10.1.0.4 and if I go to networking section you will find the another IP 10.1.0.5 and if I RDP the public IP let's connect to the machine now again we have to go to run command type ncpa.cpl and let's see we have one adapter that should be 10.1.0.4 the IP address yes and it should be 10.0.5 10.0.5 so this is how actually you can create additional NIC and attach to a virtual machine 
So this was the small video how you can actually create uh, additional NIC to a virtual machine. So if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe to us. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day.